Hello, everybody. Welcome. Let's get a drum roll. Okay, so today's Friday. I'm super excited because it is a weekend. We're going to do a stress reliever. We're going to blow it away. Everybody go. No? Okay. Let's try and y'all. Okay, so I'm super excited about this one. Um, I want to get this book. I can't remember if Courtney has mentioned this book or not, so I'm super excited. Um, hold on, let me bring this TV show up for the kids real quick. Uh, bear with me. My remote is on my phone. Okay, I'm back. So today we are going to learn the difference between activity goals and the result goals. They are different. Um, so the habits lead to results and results occur based on your habits. So many people are focused on the results, right? Like rank, hitting rank, hitting rank advancement, re-ranking, whatever the case may be. Um, people are set on like the results. Um, they lose sight of the definition of a result. Um, so a really good explanation of a result I've seen is results of a cake are based on the ingredients you put into them, right? So if you put too much water, not enough water, not enough oil, um, or not enough time like whipping it up or anything, it, it can become like not fluffy, it can become dry, it can become, you know, moi too moist or something, like it's not going to turn out how you want it, right? So um, the result in your business is based on the ingredients you put into them, which are your habits, right? So our RCMs, our IPAs, um, our story, our story interactions, adding new people, talking to the people that we've been talking to, right? Our results are going to come out when we are doing our habits. We have to do the work be, to be able to get the results. Um, I don't know if Courtney had talked about this book, um, but it's called The Five Disciplines of Execution. Um, so the main points in them um, are lead goals, which is your activity goals, your habits, right? And then your lag goals are your results. Um, so a lead goal would be I'm going to reach out to an X amount of people, right? You're doing the work. You need to write down the amount of people to be able to hit, you know, whatever rank you want to hit or to get to a certain goal that you want, right? You're going to write out like how many people you need to talk to um, to hit that goal, right? And so because this is something that you control, that's why it's called an activity goal is because you can control it, right? Um, and then a lag goal is a result goal. Like if you talk to, you know, there's so many people, I want to hit 40K, right? This is our lag goal. Um, a lag goal that happens based on your lead goals, right? So if you're talking to X amount of people, um, surely, hopefully you're going to be able to hit whatever goal you want. Um, and like I said, as long as you are, you know, putting in, your habits and actually doing them, you will reach that goal. Um, and another thing is don't overcomplicate things, right? Sometimes we think too much into it and it can be super, super simple. You know, we always say work your business, but don't work your business all day, every day, right? Some people like to have their phone constantly, but sometimes we can lose focus if we're constantly scrolling through our Facebook or we're on our phone all the time. Sometimes we feel like we don't get enough done, right? So make sure time blocking, we've talked this about several different times, make sure you time block that way, you're not on your phone and you're not losing the sight of your goal and you're able to put your lead goals to be able to get your lag goals, right? Um, so um, I want you guys today for your homework and put it in Thrive Army, what is your lead goal? It can be anything. Um, how are you going to be able to hit your lag goal, right? Um, that way we can kind of hold each other accountable um, and, you know, use the resource that, resources that you have to be able to get that stuff done. But um, make sure you guys write that down in your planner, write it down every week, what your lead goal is. Um, that's all I really have for you guys. Uh, do you have any questions about the book or... Um, Anything else I can kind of go over with y'all? 
What was the name of the book again? It's called uh, The Five Disciplines of Execution. I'll have to look up who wrote it, but um, I can send it in Thrive Army. It's in my Amazon cart. <laughs> yeah. Sue Ellen wrote it in there. I think I've done a video on this and it might be in Thrive Army. It might be on mine. I have, I'll have to look, but I do know it is somewhere where I did a full video on leg and lead how to, how to write your goals based on them. Like how to create lead measures, how to create leg measures, how to create a big goal and then the take to be able to get it. So I'll have to look up there, but I've, done, I've done that um before but this is this is awesome we haven't talked about it in such a long time because it really is an in-depth way of making goals and sometimes people don't like to do that sometimes people just like to throw up goals like i am 12k i am going to get two new customers i am going to do samples i'm going to enroll five new promoters it's like that's great that's awesome number one are they smart goals are they specific are they measurable are they attainable are they time oriented you know are the realistic time oriented you know and but then you have to figure out, okay, well, how? If it was so easy for you to get five customers, you probably would have done it already. So you probably need to ask yourself, how are you going to get five customers? Okay, well, I'm going to post more on social media. I'm going to give away more minis. I'm going to do this many more RCMs. You know, so you have to understand that there are specific activities that get you closer to the certain things that you want. So don't just make goals with the end in mind. Don't just create the end goal. Like I want five new customers. That's awesome. Do that. But then say, how am I going to do that? So you'll understand like how to do these and that's, the book is really good, but you'll understand how to do them when you ask yourself for every goal you create, you ask yourself, how am I going to do that? How am I going to actualize this goal? How am I going to make this goal happen? Well, I'm going to do this, 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 this. And, you know, those are your leg and lead measures. And so you can't just write your I am's. You can't just write your goals about what you want. You have to then go backwards and say, well, how am I going to do that? Because it's kind of like a destination without a plan or a destination without a map, right? You're, it's either going to take you longer to do it and get there, or you're going to get so lost so often that you just decide you don't want to go there anymore. <laughs> you're just like, I don't want to, I don't want to be on this journey anymore. Cause I just can't find it. Um, so yeah, the, these are like really powerful for goal making. So thank you so much, Dakota, for bringing this up because it's it's definitely something we need to retouch on um, since we've been more focused on creating goals and having having ones like this. Um, also, I think in I don't know where it is in general, and maybe I can put it up on the Trello board, but I definitely know it's in the new emails that it's in the emails that go out to new people, <clears throat> which is a smart goals like sheet that you can actually fill in your smart goals. Um, so it's like an Excel spreadsheet so that you can actually like, it gives you prompts and then you can actually fill in what your goals are and what you're gonna do to get there. So I can put that in the Trello board, but I definitely know it goes out to every single new promoter that's ever used the welcome link, so. Yeah, what she said. <laughs> um, it's so important, like she said, you know, we can write big goals all day long, but if we don't have some kind of plan, to put that into play, then we just kind of lose sight of it. And um, we get so like caught up in trying to hit that big goal and um, we just fall short of it. And then at the end of the month, we're like, well, I didn't really hit that goal. And then you feel like really annoyed or you feel, um, uh, you know, down on yourself because you didn't hit that goal. So it's super important to make sure you have a big goal, but put a plan in to be able to get that goal and, you know, take it step by step too. I mean, break it down into smaller goals that way. Um, so small goals, you know, will give you that big goal um, at the end of the month. So um, super important to write that down. Um, yeah, I don't know why I said five. It, yeah, the four disciplines of executions. Sorry, y'all. <laughs> um, anybody else have any questions? Is it the four principle, the four disciplines or five? Four, I'm sorry, I said five. It's Thank four you. disciplines of executions. Yeah, achieving your wildly important goals. Um, it's by uh, Chris McChenzie. I think I butchered his last name. <laughs> Put um, the Amazon link in the chat. Okay. Um, 
How do I do that? Just go on my phone and then copy and paste it. <laughs> I will put, I will, I'll put it in Thrive Army. How about that? Um, that way y'all can just click it on there. It's like I'm now I'm on my computer and my phone. So um, I don't want to have to like stop and go over it. But I will put it in Thrive Army. But if nobody else has any other questions, um, we have one more month. The rest of this month and then next month, April, is our last month of rank advancement. So um, go team, go. We can do this. Let's hit every goal and help. Sorry. And make sure if you have a good team um, or a team, write down what they want to because there's no I in team, right? We have to work with the people that we have to be able to hit your goals as well. So um, maybe think about doing like a Zoom with your team and um, write down what they want out and what rank they want out and help them get to that goal. If you have credits, offer credits. If you have cash back, offer cash back, you know, um, in order to free rank or hit rank, we need their help as well. Sorry, guys. Life of toddlers. So, like I said, go team, go. I hope everyone has a really good Friday and, um, you know, do whatever you need to do um, and get those samples out and um, really uh, touch base on your customers and, um, you know, bring in some uh, referrals so they can drive for free and it's going to help you guys out too. And, um, if you guys have credits left over, use them. So love you guys. And yeah, thank you. Bye. You're welcome.